So we're very interested in the potential effects of exenatide as a treatment for Parkinson's disease. Now this is based on very impressive, consistent um, evidence from the preclinical phase. So this is laboratory studies in cells and in animal models of Parkinson's disease that suggest exenatide might slow down the disease progression. So we've taken this into the clinic and we did an open label trial a few years ago where we showed that over the course of a year patients using exenatide as well as their regular medications were better off than patients that had their medications alone. But we were the first to criticise this trial as being perhaps vulnerable to placebo effects. If people really believe the exenatide may be helpful, perhaps this was self-fulfilling to some extent. So what we've gone on to do is a double-blind placebo control trial of exenatide in Parkinson's disease and to really find out if there is a um, meaningful difference using exenatide on the severity of Parkinson's. And what we used was something called the Unified Parkinson's Disease Rating Scale. We saw people at the start of the, um, the trial where they overnight stopped their regular Parkinson's medication and we could rate the severity of their Parkinson's based on slowness, stiffness, tremor and walking and balance. And then every 12 weeks we could compare whether there was any progression in their Parkinson's disease, again, by temporarily stopping their Parkinson's medications. Now, over the course of the year, we found out that patients that were using placebo injections deteriorated by about three points on the UPDRS scale. And that's what's normally seen in Parkinson's disease, that there is a slow decline by about three points per year. In contrast, the patients on exenatide had remained entirely stable over the course of the year and hadn't had any decline in their Parkinson's disease severity. And this was maintained even 12 weeks later when they'd stopped the injections and the, drug, the exenatide drug was no longer detectable in, the, in their blood or in their spinal fluid. So we think this is quite exciting that this is perhaps a novel way of treating Parkinson's disease. What we have to establish is firstly whether we can replicate this in a larger sample of people and be sure that these are consistent findings that, that can be replicated among uh, wider cohorts with more other um, illnesses that may be complicating the, the situation. We also have to identify if this is a, a cumulative phenomenon, that every year there's an advantage in three points. So after two years, that advantage may be six points, and after three years, may become nine points, such that this really does mean that exenatide is slowing down the progression of Parkinson's disease. If we can do that, then I think that really does change the way we approach treating Parkinson's patients.